Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things luxury skincare and beauty related. And in today's video, I am going to be reviewing and talking all about this controversial lotion, toner, whatever you want to call it. And it is by Biologique Recherche. And it is the Lotion P50 1970, the original. That's very important because this brand has a bunch of toners because of the ingredients in this little lit baby right here. So I'm gonna get all into it. I'm gonna talk to you guys about why it's controversial, where to get it, and where it's illegal at. So if you're interested in learning about this, then keep on watching. You guys, hi, I'm Morgan. If you're new here, I talk all about luxury skincare products because I love them, I truly believe they work, and I definitely think that there is not a big space or a big community here on YouTube that talks enough about luxury skincare products, and there's a lot of negativity surrounding luxury skincare, so that's where like my channel comes in, and I just like to give you guys reviews because I do understand people such as myself want to know what these products can do regardless of price. So that's why I'm here. If you're interested in learning about luxury skincare or you just want to know how they work and what they can do for their price, then subscribe below because I'm talking all about that and I'm all about freedom of purchase. Guys, please don't mind this. I could not cuff this or like, you know what I mean? Like I had trouble buttoning, so I just said screw it. And I'm just letting the Hermes bracelet shine. So this is a Tory Burch top. Do we love or do we love, right? It's like this organza moment. Long. This is a French brand through and through, and I'm gonna apply it also on the video. What this is, is it's an exfoliating toner. It's loaded with a bunch of acids to gently exfoliate your skin, to kind of bring up all of that gunk, if you will, and sebum, and really work to exfoliate gently and clean out your pores uh, for a healthier, brighter looking complexion. The older we get, the slower our skin works to regenerate itself and exfoliate itself to bring back those like healthy looking, younger looking, fresh skin. Like that's why we exfoliate our skin to kind of speed up that process. So when you're working with exfoliating toners such as this one, it really helps to speed up that process. Now I do understand the market is flooded right now with toners, with AHAs, BHAs, you know, there's a ton of that going on, but this product has something that a lot of toners don't have, and I totally understand why, and it's fennel. Now, the, I know that scares people. This product is illegal in Canada and the European Union because of that ingredient. Now, before I begin, I do want to let you know that fennel is legal in the United States and the rest of the countries that I have not mentioned because it is deemed safe in cosmetics if used in very, very small doses. I know this is used in like paint strippers, like fennel, and it's a very, very harsh, harsh chemical if used in high, high doses. But if regulated by the Federal Drug Administration, which it is in very, 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 very minor doses, it is deemed safe in the United States. Sorry, my Canadian subscribers. Your country doesn't deem it safe. And you know what? I'm not even going to try to fight it. If you don't think that this is a product that's safe for you, by all means, don't use it. Don't feel pressured to use it. I personally am using it because the reason why is because it was recommended to me by two women. Now, the one woman is my Hermes essay, and the other woman was an esthetician that did a, a hydrofacial on me. Both of these women had flawless looking skin. When I see beautiful looking skin on people, it's very rare that I see like, that I get blown away. I see good skin all the time, just as much as bad skin I see all the time, I see really be like good skin all the time, but it's very rare that I'll see, I'll be like mind blown. Like, whoa, this woman is like movie star pampered. Like her skin is just like out of this world. Both women that I have come across where I had that reaction, both have recommended this product. Both of them have sworn by this product. So what I did is they both, well, they both said you need to buy the Lotion P50 1970, the original. Now, 
Let's get started. You can only buy this at rescue spas. The rescue spas are located in Philadelphia and New York. Luckily for me, I was in the Philly location. I actually had to drive to the rescue spa and personally and physically pick this up. I believe you can purchase this off a rescue spa website. I know the brand encourages people to go to an esthetician and get a prescription or an or a dermatologist and get a prescription or a recommendation on which toner and products that you should be using from this brand because the, it's a very potent and controversial ingredients list, if you will. Not a lot of skin types can handle this specific product. First, you know what, let me just get the product on my face. I know people get like super anxious when I don't try the product as soon as possible, but I, I, I just like to give a background on things and tell you guys the real tea and then I apply it because I think people need to know the real tea on things before I just go putting it on my face, which I love doing anyway. So listen, when you get the, let's just get right into packaging. I'm going to put it on my face and then I'm going to read you about the product. When you get this product, this is the packaging. It's plastic. If you look at the packaging, it's very simple and it honestly looks like something that you would get out of a skincare lab and the writing and the like the um, font on the front of this bottle literally looks like it would be a sticker and it's like handwritten by or like typewritten like uh, in a research lab like it's very very minimalistic packaging it's not fancy by any means but when you read about this product the brand doesn't care about really presentation and packaging what they care about is what the heck's inside of it and does it work they don't really get caught up in you know countertop vanity looking things this is made in France so pricing for this lotion goes as follows. I have the 8.4 fluid ounces. I paid $106. You guys, I just went, this is the biggest size. I just went in with the, I went in full throttle. I was like, you know what? I walked here. I like drove, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was just going full price because this is kind of annoying to get. You do need to kind of create a login on the Rescue Spa website to, for pricing and ordering. It's not that big of a deal. It's just kind of a process on getting this because if you go on the Biologique Richard, Church A website, uh, I don't think you could order it from there. Like you have to go on the Rescue Spa website to order these. And then it comes in a 5.1 ounce. That's $70. Guys, you may as well just go all the way up to the 8.4 and get the bigger size. That's just my thought. And then it comes in a 1.7 ounces for $31. If you guys want to try it first, I say it's either the smallest size or the bigger size. But hey, that's just me. Now, I think this is recommended for all skin types. Let's see. It's a cult favorite. Due to, the, oh, hold on. In de the description has a big, like, infaunted, like, yellow. Due to the nature of P50, it is prone to arrive leaking from shipment. However, we inspect every bottle before we send them out, and they are still safe to use. What? What? That's not acceptable, Rescue Spa. If you guys live in the Philly or New York area, Oh my God. Anyway, people say it's like a facial in a bottle. It's, of course, this balances the pH in your skin. It's paraben free. That's good. How to use, guys. Wow. So it has a very, very, very small ingredients list. It's got water, glycerin, phenol, which freaks everybody out, niacinamide, which people love, vinegar. <laughs> And the list just goes on of scary ingredients. Salicylic acid, I see in there. That's good. Lactic acid, laparoot access, magnesium chloride. So there's like a lot of good acne ingredients, good pore cleaning ingredients, good exfoliating ingredients, and scary ingredients, but effective ingredients all in one. A man did make this for his wife many, many years ago. Of course, there's this long, drawn-out story. Bottom line... Long story short, even though they're short ingredients, even though the packaging is very minimal, and even though this product is very hard to get, get bottom line, this product was made to work. People love it. Celebrities love it. People swear by this. It does not smell luxurious. It doesn't look luxurious. There's nothing luxurious about it except bottom line, it works. Let's get it on my face. And I'll tell you guys my final thoughts. So you just unscrew it, very, very simple, comes out in a uh, in this type of pour, pouring. I do 
apply it with a cotton pad. You guys, the woman behind the counter before you apply this advise that you use it once a day for the first week and then twice a day following it because of the context of its ingredients. She did advise me that there will be a purging process when you begin using this product. The first week, you're gonna start noticing a lot of breakouts, a lot of oils, pimples, blackheads, everything. Don't be discouraged because I did notice that even though my skin is well taken care of, as we all know, um, I did notice and I still notice blackheads coming up, but I noticed my face is crystal clear and my pores look pretty darn good. Keep up with it, stay on it, don't be discouraged, let the product do its job, and then once you get over the hump of the purging process, your skin will start clearing up. Don't be discouraged, especially people with acne. Especially if you have acne, stay with it. If you have fine lines, stay with it because it's gonna exfoliate, it's gonna boost up that cell regeneration. Just stay with the product. Don't get caught up in the smell, don't get caught up in the presentation, and don't be discouraged by the ingredients. That's just my opinion. So I just wet the cotton pad, and here comes this like stinky, expensive, scary product that everyone's like shook about. <laughs> Doesn't get easier. Guys, I always start on my nose, right? And they advise not to apply pressure because you really don't need it. It's a powerful product. I start on my nose because this is where I'm most clogged and the cotton pad's always obviously the most saturated and fresh, if you will. It does have a burning and stinging effect when you first apply it to your skin. That's just how my skin takes it. I apply it in a gentle upward sweeping motion because I just want it to get evenly dispersed. I'm not like, I don't go like this. I don't go in like a heavy duty circular motion. You don't need to. The, the ingredients are strong enough that you don't need to do anything extra. Just be gentle with your skin. Even with this cotton pad, this godforsaken cotton pad that I'm using, you guys know I like a bougie cotton pad. These are from Walmart. But don't even, I don't even recommend getting like a ribbed cotton pad or like any texturized cotton pads. Just get a smooth, bouncy cotton pad. Nothing harsh, nothing um, that's gonna additionally exfoliate your skin. You don't need it with this product. I'm not gonna lie, my pores look better. My pores look cleaner. I struggle from a lot of congestion on my nose and on my chin. I notice a huge difference with this product. And if you guys are La Mer lovers and you're applying your creme de La Mer after you know, you're know you toning with this, you're gonna notice a huge difference because your skin is like well balanced and so ready for oncoming ingredients and products that like it almost like enhances your luxurious skincare products on top. Now, if you're thinking, well, Morgan, would you replace your La Mer the tonic for this? No, because the tonic is a very, very, very different type of toner that's a very luxurious, nourishing, hydrating, gentle toner that I love to pieces. This is a very different toner. Guys, if you're struggling with dark spots, acne, you need a more aggressive toner, you need something that's gonna get there and unclog your pores and you just need help, get this toner. If you're scared of the ingredients, this, this brand has a ton of other ingredients. The brand is aware people are scared of the fennel. Brand is aware when this was created in the 1970s, fennel was acceptable, but the brand is aware that in the year 2021, people don't want fennel and there are certain people that will die before they put fennel on their skin. That's why they've come out with a whole range of other toners that can accommodate every skin cut type. I know there's a toner that's out there for brightening and enhancing. There's toners out there for you know, more gentle toners, but if you wanna go and get the closest to the original ingredients created by the original doctor from back in the 70s, you gotta get the original, P50 1970. This is the OG, this is the most important. My final take on it, is it's aggressive, it stinks, it's not luxurious looking, but it's luxuriously priced. I think it's, as far as the price for it, I think it's overpriced. I'm gonna 
gonna tell you why it's overpriced. Because yes, it works, right? It works. It does. I mean, it works. But you don't get a luxurious experience with this right you just don't if there's nothing luxurious about the product other than it works right like you're paying for vinegar vinegar fennel and acids which is fine it's effective right but why are we paying so much for those ingredients that's when morgan talks has a problem with ingredient pricing you know what i'm saying i understand why la mer charges so much because of the way they they harvest their sea kelp the type of sea kelp that they do the way they store it the way they package it the secret you know chemical whatever there's nothing secretive about this this is a very basic ingredients list it's effective but it's very basic also, the packaging, you know, it's straightforward, right? Witch hazel works at clearing wounds, right? Curing wounds, right? It's like $3 at the drugstore, right? It works, right? Correct. It works. Great. Perfect. We'll pay the three bucks for the witch hazel. Same thing with this product. $106 for it, I don't think is acceptable but if you want to be on the other side of it saying like, well, it works, so I'll pay it. That's why I'm going to pay the price because it works. But I definitely think the company is playing on the effectiveness of it. And that's what they're doing. But I just don't think the packaging, the ingredients, and the ingredients really aren't that um, luxurious to begin with to be charging us that much, even though the product is expensive. Do you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Do you guys get it? Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Do I recommend it to everybody in the world? No. And I understand why people wouldn't want to use this, but I do also understand why people would want to use it because it does work. I understand your reserves and I understand why you would be concerned with using vinegar and fennel on your skin every single day. It is a little worrisome to people. I totally get that. I personally am not concerned at the time. Do I recommend this for long-term use every single day of my life for the rest of my life? I don't know yet. I don't know that I can look at you guys and full on say, guys, use this every single day for the rest of your life and you'll be young forever. I, I, don't, I don't know about that. I, I, I can't say that yet. I, I don't feel comfortable coming on camera and saying that. What I do feel comfortable saying is it's effective right now. Do you have acne and do you need help? Is your pores diminished? Are you clogged? Do you need the extra boost? Is your skin dull? Is your skin just not, is, is something not working for you and you need assistance? Buy this. Do you need, you know, like La Mer, I can say, yes, use long-term. La Prairie, use long-term. Sisley, yes, use long-term. Those are long-term lifer products. I just, you, you get my drift. Get it? Stay with me on this one. Follow my journey with this product. Stay with me on Instagram. I post a lot. Stay with me. I'll always post updated skincare routines. You'll hear my th thoughts throughout. But that that's just where I'm at with this product. It's working. It's fantastic right now. If you're in dire need and you need assistance now, buy it. Why the heck not? Because it does work even though it's overpriced. And if you have really bad acne and you're struggling, yeah, I recommend it. Even though it's overpriced and you need a, a, a immediate assistance, buy it. It sucks. It's overpriced, but it works. Everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to shed some light on it and I was able to provide you some relief or some type of um, advice, if you will. Again, um, I just want to let you guys know I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a specialist. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a girl who really loves skincare and I just love providing and trying skincare and giving you guys my feedback as just another voice of reason for you guys when making your skincare decisions. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, subscribe below for more videos like this. I'm constantly doing skincare videos. I love vlogging. I love sharing my life with you guys and I want to grow my channel. It just to reach more people and enjoy my channel with everyone. Everybody, I love you. Stay flawless, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep up with a fantastic, fabulous skincare routine. Bye.